Hello. Um, as you see the title, it was going to say more Iron Age discoveries, but it said the title was too long, so one word had to go. So uh, I was, you know, as I do the stuff that comes up anyway in my stuff, I do uh, search that this morning and yeah, surprise, surprise, not about this. Uh, as well as some other stuff. Well, this is a recent one. There's been other stuff discovered there in recent years. Uh, but a little bit of history, like I've done with the, uh, um, the Romanian one, and then I just made a video of the, uh, crap, what was it? Only the, how they hide history from us and change history to suit for them and stuff like that. So, um, I'll put the link for that in below. It's got a lot of links with it. That's the reason I put it. I'm gonna put it because all the links below it. So but there'll be a lot of links below this too, as usual. Uh, so, but um, anyway, it's Saturday, two o'clock in the evening here. So, um, just wanted to share this stuff here that I found instead of posting 20 posts on Google. So this is, works out better. So anyway. Um, let's see. Um, yeah, you notice the, the main change. Um, how do we, uh, no, I'm still me. Anyway, I, just, I just like the sound of that name. So, it's pretty. Anyway, um, I'll start with showing where this is. I couldn't find the exact place, of course. It wouldn't pull it up on Google Earth, so, um, anyways, so here we go. I just want to share this really quick. You can leave this up yourself, the location. Maybe you have better search results than me here, but here it is. Um, it's 75 kilometers from Aleppo here on the border with Turkey there, so I think, I would think maybe around in here somewhere it could be anywhere in here like I said it wouldn't pull up the exact location so uh anyways um scan out here see where talking about here so and you see all these other ancient places I have been here um where they a lot of these places they've recently discovered things it's rediscovered they knew the ship was there in any way um, you really think they're going to destroy their history, the elite, you know, so, anyway, um, there we go, let's, let's just sum up, but anyway, I'll go back to here, I don't know how my sound is, so there, it's, it's 75 kilometers from Aleppo, Aleppo, however you say it, there, so, anyways, just wanted to show that, i got to close that, it's, like anyway um so um let's see let's see how it done on okay you need just a second we'll mute i gotta mute and see how my sound is okay sound good okay dokie Anyway, like I said, I just wanted to share this out there with everybody and more ways how they, you know, change and alter our history and stuff. Uh, and the, and the, you know, of course we know the trade, that's, you know, why all this stuff goes on in these certain areas because they're important trade routes and stuff. The, the Worldwide Mafia is vying for control with each faction, each faction of the Worldwide Mafia is, you know, um, vying for control of said area region so you know y'all know that but anyway i'm just putting this out there you know because i thought it was interesting uh it goes into history and stuff too um like i said how they like in egypt how they've hid stuff and and well all over the world even here in the u.s they've hid the ancient the history of the ancient peoples of the americas if you will, they've hid that from all of us. 
Uh, so, anyways, I'm gonna get into this here in just a sec. Um, okay. Um, like I said, I just wanted to put this out there, you know, so I know it's early in the day, but I don't give a shit. I just wanted to put it out, like I said. Uh, so, I'll go to where I searched. I'll, go, I'll get that way. Uh, okay. I first ser I searched just for turkey and found this history stuff about it. So, I'm going to be screen sharing a lot and talking a lot. So, it's just going to be me. So, but if anyone at any time is watching, they says nobody watching now or whatever. Uh. But if anybody at any time if this watching, if you want to join later after, that's cool. If you want to join and talk about this stuff. It's really fascinating to me. It always has since I was a kid. So, anyway, uh, I'm going to finish with the cigarette first. This is about now. So, that's it. Uh, All right. Just a second. Make sure I got this big enough. Okay. Yeah, that's what I, I first searched for turkey. Uh, for stuff. Because, uh, you know, the history stuff. Uh, the, all that stuff they've been finding there. Finding. You know what I'm saying. Uh, in that region. As of the last few years. Even well, back to the early 2000s. Um, before, and before that. You know, late. Late. Early 80s or late 90s, something like that. Anyway, here we go. Uh, this place here, I found this here. Uh, te, 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 however you say it. And there, the, there's the project. I'll leave, like I said, I'll leave all these links. And there's that. I got, like, you can see a bunch of stuff up there, too. So. Uh, I think I have that one. No, I don't. But like I said, I'll leave these links. Y'all can look into these individual things if you want there. Uh, because connections to ancient. I will open that and actually and see. Anyway, okay. Aha, uh -huh. of course. I'll see, I'll say this. Um, there so anyway okay sorry about that um me just a sec i gotta shit where is it I'm sorry, I'm getting this in order here. So, okay. let's see. Of course, I, I've been found that out already, but that's good to have an article that's saying that. I do have some wiki links, and I know wiki, yeah. Uh, but it's just telling the basic stuff there. So, like I said, you can find more. I found a lot in these, you can find a lot in these articles too, uh, so, crap, what was that? So, anyway, okay, yeah, uh, good to screen share here. Okay, <clears throat> and here's some images of it, there, the stuff they found there. There's the map there, see. There's the yeah. Uh picture there of the map there. You see it's right there. And ellip ellipos around in there. So there we go. So it wouldn't pull it up on the Google 
earth there, so it, hey, cool, that's good, awesome. Uh, so a lot of good stuff here, so, and all these clay tablets and stuff, and uh, everything. So, but uh, here we go, this is from, uh, shit, 2009. Um, And it like blocked out the title for some reason there. Made it too big, I guess. Okay. Archaeologists discover temple that sheds light on so called dark age. Um, this was um, April 16th, 2009, University of Toronto. The discovery of a remarkably well preserved monumental temple in Turkey, thought to be constructed during the time of King Solomon, sheds light on the so called dark age. See there. And that's the place I'm looking at here. There, so anyway. Uh, says, um, the excavations have revealed that some ruling dynasties survived the collapse of the Bronze Age Bronze Age powers, of course. Um, they're still here today, uh, ruling us. So of course, they're going to survive. And some of them will say, they'll say some of them wiped out, but they really weren't. They're, they're in hiding, or maybe like they did really destroy them certain lives, you know what I mean. So that's how that goes. Uh, with the struggle for power, I would say. So, um, anyway, I just wanted to scan through this. Here, there. Uh, the temple's inner sanctuary, also known as its Holy of Holies, was the focus of the 2009 season. Uh, and it's an international project, 20 universities and research institutes, and it's funded by Social Sciences and Humanities Research Council and the Institute for Aegean Prehistory. You can look into them there. I didn't think do that because I got all this other stuff here. So um anyways, like I said, you know, it's it, it's stuff they they know it's hidden from us, you know, and then they bring it back. Oh look what we found. And here is from twenty eleven. They excavated the same site there in southern Turkey and their four foot tall statue of a roaring lion. You know, the lines used in a lot of um, these um, herald breed symbols and stuff like that. And Freemasonry and all that, all that, all that symbolism in all these organizations and stuff, societies. But uh, it's one of several to have been discovered at the site over the years. There's a picture of it. It uh, dates to the 8th century BCE when it was the capital of a small independent kingdom possibly called Palestine. Palestine. I mean, pronounce that. It don't give you the pronunciations, but uh, anyway. According to reports, the line may have come from one of its main, Tiananmen's main temples. There you go, there. See, this symbology goes back way, way, way back. So, there you go, the Roaring Lion. And here's, you know, in 2012, where they found um, a monumental human sculpture from the ancient city of Kunula, Kunulua, the capital of the neo hittite kingdom of Patina in the early first millennium BCE. It's 12 feet, likely stood 12 feet tall. That's just part of it. See, it's been partly destroyed, see. So, um... Anyways, let's see, there it is. Other than Israel, no country has many biblical sites and associations with the Jordan and Mount Nebo, coming where Moses gave with the promised land. Uh, and all that stuff there. Uh, here, you know, just the, the report of it there. It's just the head and torso of the figure intact just above its waist. Its face is bearded with beautifully preserved inlaid eyes made of white and black stone and its hair 
curls, a lot in linear rows. The figure's right hand holds a spear, and in its left is a shaft of wheat. A crescent-shaped pectoral adorns its chest. There was the symbology there again, so... Um, The second sculpture is a large semicircular column base, approximately one meter in height, 90 centimeters in diameter, lying on its side next to the human figure. A winged bull is carved on the front of the column and it's flanked by a sphinx on its left. The right side of the column is flattened and decorated, an indication that it originally stood against the wall. Um, they appear to have been ritually buried in the paved stone surface of the central passageway through the Tanak Gate complex. So for some reason, you know, they, they buried them. So anyway, like, you know, look what's going on with, uh, over in this area now, you know, what, how they're destroying stuff. So, uh, the presence of colossal human statues often astride lines or sphinxes, uh, in the royal cities, Neo-Hittite royal cities of Iron Age, Syrio, Anatolia, continued a Bronze Age Hittite tradition that accentuated their symbolic role as boundary zones and the role of the king as the divinely appointed guardian or gatekeeper of the community. So, um, the gate reliefs also form linear narratives guiding their audiences, audiences between the human and divine realms with, with the king serving as the link between the two worlds. See there? Uh, again, there, that's where the religion plays in there, too, you know, who are you worshiping when you go to these churches and stuff. Uh, the king serving as a link between the two worlds. Uh, so, you're worshiping the government when you go to church. So, anyway. Okay, there. And here's, here's the uh, new one. A uh, huge ancient statue of Iron Age goddess discovered. It was, I don't think it was a goddess, personally. Uh, it's 3,000 years old. It's believed to have been depicted either an Iron Age goddess or political leader. I would say political leader because of what they've done to it. Um, it would have stood 16 feet in height um, in Tehanak, Turkey, not far from the country's border with Syria. The remains of it are just over 3.5 feet long and 2.2 feet wide are carved into reddish basalt stone. They're well preserved, but look, see, the face and chest have been intentionally destroyed, leading archaeologists to believe the statue may have been defaced in antiquity in a ritual acts, meaning they didn't want you to know who the hell this was, uh, what significance this uh, woman played in their history, in their politics and stuff. So, um, there again, you know how they destroy in uh, history. Uh, and keeping things hidden from us, so, um, and it's just more about it there, if it'll load there, so, uh, anyway, it's got a video that automatically plays there, so, you can't stay on it long, it's about pharaonic statues of Ramses II and Seti I, second found in Egypt, so, I'm going to go ahead and close that because it's auto-playing. So, but anyway. And here's more about it there. This is just the same as what they said, so. And they found smaller fragments of the statue, maybe allowing to reconstruct the face. Which may aid in identification of the woman. So, that would be really cool. So, anyway. I'm going to close this stuff out. I meant to do that as I went. It. Okay. But anyway, you know, there you go. Okay. All right. Okay, here's that one I found. It says the temples of Tel Tanakh, Turkey, and connections to ancient Israel. Uh, it ain't much there. So I think it's just uh, some kind of seminar or something they had about it or something then. Uh, so, but yeah, we knew that. Uh, it's all connected. Uh, so, because it's the same people that rules uh, now, you know, it's, it did then, you know, and they're all connected. So, and here's the kingdoms of Syria. 
uh, ancient Syria. I know I've done got some links below that video. I'm gonna put the link below to this. It's got a lot about this and you know about the ancient stuff in Syria and stuff and other places in the Middle East. So. But anyways, there I wanted to scan through this real quick. So. I said I'll put all this stuff below. So, and here is the Tiananmen site there. Just to be you no know, basic history of it there about you know the cultures and stuff. Uh, so, um, It ain't, got, it ain't got many pictures there, but anyway. And here's the Oral Tess River, you know, and see that flows there. That's where, um, see, you can see here, it's, uh, it's a tell tale and not is a low-lying ancient tale on the east bank at the bend of the ancient Oral Tess River, however you I don't know if I'm pronouncing some of this shit right, but I apologize if I'm not. So, uh, on that river. So that was a strategic point there, you know, for trade and stuff. So, uh, let's see, Rompe. The modern name, I see, is derived from the ancient Axios. The word coincidentally means rebel. Okay, in Arabic, which folk etymology describes to the fact that the river flows from the north to the, from the south to the north, and like the rest of the rivers in the region. Hmm, that's interesting too. Uh, there. Hmm, flows from south to the north. That's something people can look into there as well. You know what causes that there, uh, and everything. Uh, given the um. People are disputing the shape of the earth and shit, you know, here you go. This river flows from the south to the north. <laughs> okay, anyway, just wanted to point that out there. Uh, so, anyways, now I just thought that was interesting. So, uh, let me close this shit. Uh, and this is it, you know, they're... It's near that uh, other place. It's the Bronze Age capital. There, it was linked in the um, tell in the God damn it, tell Tianot uh, wiki there. So, you know, like I said, all these places are connected uh, and stuff. So, I mean, just look how they they what they've done to that statue to hide. Uh, whoever that was from us so and of course uh it's connected to Ur there of course um where our laws came from uh so i've done a lot of stuff on that uh it should be in my community creative space and the ancient writing and stuff should be uh if it's not <laughs> um you know you can look that up yourself where these laws came from that we're living by, made to live by today, so. Uh, and here's another city, ancient city there, on a river. It's near the Deir Ezzor. You know, I've done a video about that. To connected Dura Europos. So, uh, like, like I said, all these are connected. You know, it was ruled by the same people. As we're being ruled by now, so um, 
You see the dynasty this is the dynasty collapsed for unknown reasons there. Uh the Shaka Naku. Yeah, I bet it was, you know, what's going on now, you know, with the uh these different factions vying for control of said area. So anyways. Okay, and that's her, you know, so um anyway. I just wanna pull that up there. That's in Iraq. Iraq, uh, but like I've said, all these places are connected, you know, uh, just like they are nowadays, all these uh, capitals and stuff, so, anyway, and there's an, it's, this was linked in that other wiki too there, so, uh, it's near that other place, the tail paying off. So, it's mentioned, it's, this was mentioned in the Bible, their Bible, and so, and it was founded by Nimrod, so, and if you remember, that's one of the places ISIS destroyed, allegedly destroyed in Syria, it was, or was it Iraq, one of them places, the hell, they've done so much over there, it's hard to keep up, but, uh, anyway, there's that, and, uh, Syrio Hittite states um, were these people, political entities there. And like we say, say, you know, they're just the same people, just different names and faces. So, anyway. And this is the style of the uh, architecture in these palaces. Uh, so there's the entrance of the National Museum in Aleppo, a reconstruction of the entrance to Kapara's Palace at Tel Halab. Uh, you know, if you see, look at our capitals and stuff and how the columns are, not like this, but they're just columns. That's the style here. Uh, so. anyway and here's some stuff other stuff that I found there uh, may, let me see I want to do this one first sorry uh, this was in that in the place in Jerusalem outside Jerusalem they found 2013 from the Iron Age similar ar artistry is in the other sites of the you know the small things they found so uh, anyway Anyway, close that out. And here's an analysis of Iron Age ceramics. It suggests complex pattern of Eastern Mediterranean trade, like I'd said before, you know, the river, the rivers, that's, you know, how they've done their trade uh, there. And that river, you know, I look into that, you know, how it flows and everything, because it flows different than any other river in the area, you know, so. Um. Okay. Just saying how, you know, all this stuff that they found, the ancient pottery and stuff, were from different regions, and that proves how the trade, you know, how they traded with other um, other regions and stuff there. So, um, much like today. Well, exactly like today. So, that's all for that the rest is just ads and stuff there so but anyways I just thought that was really that was interesting there so you learn a lot about the the our artistry and stuff of uh, things they find at these archaeological digs and stuff so uh, anyway there okay that's all that and this is at Telmotza there in Jerusalem. Uh, so, anyway, I just wanted to show that there. Much like these other places. So, ain't much there. So, 
there it is. Maybe it's there. Anyways. <clears throat> That's it for that. That's all I've got there. Like I said, I'll put everything below there. Hello. <laughs> Yeah, it, that sucks. So. Sorry about that. The the sound there. So it does that when I uh, screen share for something. So anyway, I'm gonna put all that below there. Okay. There. <laughs> so hello you guys, so thanks y'all for watching and everything, so um that's 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 pretty much it. So um just thought that was interesting there, that statue they discovered there, you know. They defaced it and de-chested it. So, what does that tell you? You know, trying to hide something there. So, um, anyways. Okay. Um, yeah. So, um, oh, yeah, I do have other links I'm going to put below. Let me. Find them. That's not it. Let's see. I'm not sure if these go. I'm just going to wait and put them later. I'll have to look through this stuff and see i'm not sure if that's the right things so but anyways y'all um so much stuff i don't know what to what so i will do that later though definitely so and um uh, because i do have a lot on there i just anyway so but yeah um thanks y'all for watching uh and everything so uh see if anybody wants to join later afterwards here that's you know let me know there i'll throw it in there but uh, that's all i've got like i said so i find this stuff fascinating you know looking back at this stuff and how it's repeating nowadays uh and uh people ain't even noticing you know so uh they don't even think about it so which and anyway uh, i'm gonna go ahead and end the live here so like i said if anybody wants to join let me know there and i will send out the link so thanks y'all i'll see you much love thanks for watching have a great evening <laughs>